Hey everyone, Shadenox here and in this video I'm going to show you a few Assassination Rogue Discipline Priest games around and above 2.4 MMR. In this video, the games will be played with the legendary Master Assassin. So Master Assassin is the legendary that gives you a 100% crit chance for 4 seconds after you break stealth. If you follow my YouTube channel a bit, you've surely noticed that in my previous videos um, I'm, I'm playing Doomblade when I play Assassination Rogue, which is this legendary, and in my guide I'm saying that I think Doomblade is the best legendary for assassination. So why is Doomblade good? Doomblade is good because on your target you always have Rupture, Corrode and Mutilated Flesh, which is the bleed given by this legendary, so Envenom passively deals 15% more damage. On your kill attempts you also have Internal Bleeding for a fourth bleed, which um, allows this legendary to increase Envenom's damage by 20%. This is very strong and this legendary is good by itself. It doesn't require the an external mechanic to be good, such as um, uh, like Master Assassin requires Vanish, for example. So this is why I think this legendary is great. That being said, um, Master Assassin never was a bad legendary. So what Master Assassin does is it gives you crit chance. As Assassination Rogue, when you open from stealth, you have to apply your dots, so you don't get value out of it at this moment. Um, when you go for re-stealth as Assassination, and that is not that often, uh, when you come back you often have to reapply your dots also, so you don't get too much value out of it there as well. So if you play Master Assassin as an Assassination Rogue, this is because you want to use Vanish alongside your Vendetta in order to get a 100% crit chance when you will do your Covenant ability, so Sepsis or Flagellation, because I guess you're either Nightfit or Venthyr if you have, uh, if you want damaging Covenants, um, then Shiv, and then you will Vanish to benefit from Envenom, Mark for Death, Envenom, and all of that will crit and you will deal an insanely high burst. So the only issue that I personally have with Master Assassin is that it forces you to commit Vanish to your burst, um, so that means that you don't have Vanish anymore to escape a dangerous situation, you don't have Vanish to sap off your blind, and you don't have Vanish to peel for uh, an ally with Garrod or Cheap Shot if they are going to die. Um, that also means that if you are somehow forced to vanish before using your first Vendetta, then it's as if you played without the Legendary. So this is why I said Doomblade is better in my previous videos, and I still think that's true. However, you may have noticed that I am now a Night Elf and not a human. Um, so Night Elf is the best race for Rogue in PvP at the moment by very far. Uh, I actually overestimated human by a lot, it is a lot weaker than I, I considered it, um, hence the swap to Night Elf. And the thing is, as Night Elf, you gain Shadow Meld. So Shadow Meld, when you press it, you go in... Oh, I have a macro, so it didn't really work, but... Shadow Meld, when you press it, you go into a Shadow Meld state, which is an invisibility state, but it's not stealth. But in Arena, going into Shadow Meld allows you to drop combat, so you can immediately, immediately stealth. Which was actually my macro, let me find it, where is it? Uh, yeah, here. So, stop attack, Shadow Meld, stop attack, just to be safe, maybe one of these isn't useful and uh, stealth. So when you press, when I press this button, um, which is actually this one, right, um, I go into stealth in arena. So now that allows me to get the crit buff without wasting my vanish. So when you play night elf, you can actually use shadow meld alongside vendetta or uh, vanish if you prefer to get the crit buff and you will still have either of the abilities available to either escape a dangerous situation, sap off your blind or peel for your team. Uh, and also against some comps, you do not really need to um, to use Vanish defensively, it happens. And when this happens, uh, then you can Vanish alongside your Vendetta. So the enemy healer will probably Trinket this, right? And Vendetta and Trinkets have two minutes as a cooldown. With Shadow Meld, you can wait until you get your Sceptis back or until you have um, a Kidney Shot on the enemy and he is not at 100% or until your Discipline Priest has Dark Archangel. Like, until your team has damage, and then you will have a go with Kidney Shot, Shiv, and you will do the double Envenom thing with Mark for Death, and you will be able to use um, either Vanish or Shadow Meld, the one that you still have, in order to gain the um, the crit chance. So that me And the enemy still won't have a Trinket, so they are very likely to die. So, the point of all this, um, of this discussion is that uh, Doomblade is really good, but and Master Assassin was already good too, but had the, had the downside of um, um, of forcing you to kind of waste vanish, leaving you without a stealth option, which is really like not good as assassination rogue because you don't have any other way to access stealth based abilities. And because 
you have Shadow Melt as an idol, um, Master Assassin doesn't have a weakness anymore. So it is still less sustained damage than Doomblade because you won't have it on every Envenom. But on your burst goes, if they are set up properly and you're able to get the crit buff and freely hit the target for 4 seconds, you're very likely to kill someone. So this is why I played a bit with Master Assassin. Uh, I guess I got this per this character back to 2.4 with it. Um, it was really fun overall playing Master Assassin as a Night Elf. I really didn't enjoy it as much when I was not Night Elf. It is still good, but as I said, you sacrifice Vanish for it, uh, which I really did not like. Um, but as a Night Elf, it's tons of fun. So without further ado, I'll leave you with the games. Thank <laughs> you. 